Welcome. It's time once again for Hebrew. Talmidim, open your workbooks to lesson number 30. The name of our Torah portion this week is Kiddushim, and it means Holy Ones. In addition to learning this week's new vocabulary, we will also have an abbreviated review day. We will review some commonly used words, some prefixes, and some pronoun endings from our vocabulary Let's begin by sounding out our Hebrew words in the right-hand column of the page. The first line we are very familiar with, Ve'yedeber Adonai, and the Lord spoke, El Moshe Lemor, to Moses, saying, Daber El Kol Adat, speak to all the congregation, B'nai Yisrael, the sons of Israel, Ve'amarta Alehem, and say to them, Kedoshim ti you, holy ones you are to be. Kikadosh ani, because holy am I. Adonai Elohechem, the Lord your God. I would like to point out four things as we begin our lesson today to serve as our review. Remember, anytime you see a vav in front of a word, it most likely means and. We have two examples of that in this week's Torah portion, one in the first line, Vayedeber Adonai, and spoke the Lord, and also in the fifth line, Vamarta Elehem, and you will say to them. Next, we have the very common Hebrew word to, used three times in our Torah portion this week. Once in the second line, El Moshe, to Moshe, again in the line below it, El kol adat b'nei Yisrael, to all of the congregation of the sons of Israel. And again, in the line after b'nei Yisrael, Elehem. The last example may be a little bit difficult to see because it's combined with a pronoun ending. Remember that a he and a mem sofit at the end of the word means them. The Hebrew word aleph lamed means to, therefore, Alehem means to them. Another pronoun ending in our vocabulary this week is found in the last line, Adonai Elohechem. Here we have the pronoun ending, Chaf Memsofit. It's the plural form of the word your. We know that Elohim means God or Elohai is my God. Here we have Elohechem, which means your God. If you haven't done so already, add the prefix and, and the suffixes hem and chem, meaning them and your, to your vocabulary lists, along with the Hebrew word el, which means to. Let's jump now into our challenge teachings for today. We are going to start with challenge teaching number three. It asks us to find two words dealing with speaking. By this time, we're quite familiar with vayedeber, which means spoke. Let's see if we can look for another word related to vayedaber. There it is in the third line, daber, speak. Next we are asked, what is the portion name in Deuteronomy related to this root? If you're familiar with the names of the Torah portions in Deuteronomy, you would easily remember that devarim has the same Hebrew letters dalit, vet, and resh as daber and vayedaber. Now we're going to find two words dealing with saying. The Hebrew word daber means speaking. There is a different word used for saying. That word is amar. We find it in two forms in our vocabulary this week. The first is in the second line, lemor. The second example is found in the sixth line down, beginning with the Hebrew letter vav, va'amarta elehem and you will say to them. Do you see the root amar 
Aleph Mem Resh in the Hebrew word Vamarta? Yofi. And if you've looked ahead in your homework for next week, answering the final question of challenge teaching number three will be a snap for you. What portion name in Leviticus is related to this root? Emor, Aleph, Mem, Resh. That's our Torah portion for next week. Let's study challenge teaching number four. The Shema says that the Lord, Eloheinu, is one. What does the Hebrew mean, Eloheinu? We recognize Elohe to mean God, and the suffix nu is also a pronoun ending meaning our. So Eloheinu means our God. The Vahavta says to love the Lord Elohecha. What is this Hebrew meaning? Did you remember learning that a chaf sofit at the end of a word means yours singular? To love the Lord Elohecha means to love the Lord, your God. And last, what is the plural form for the God of all of you? We learned that this week. Remember, chaf mem sofit means your in plural form. So the God of all of you is Adonai Elohechem, as our last vocabulary word shows. Let's look now to our left-hand side of the page. Beginning after the first paragraph break, let's read our scripture verse for this week in Hebrew, or follow along. Ve'yidaber Adonai el Moshe le'mor, deber el kol adat b'nei Yisrael, ve'amarta alehem, kedushim tiyu, ki kadosh ani Adonai Elohechem. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to all the congregation of the sons of Israel, and say to them, Holy ones you are to be, because I am holy, the Lord your God. Talmidim, you are all Kedushim Adonai, holy ones to the Lord. I'm so proud of all the Hebrew that you're learning and how you're able to read the Torah from its original language. Don't forget to do your homework this week. Shavua Tov, Litrot. Oh, my God, I'm